Hey everyone, welcome to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. But now let's get right in today's topic, which is regarding none other than Mill Lady Meme Coin. We're going to be talking about what exactly is happening with the price. But before we get into that, let's look at what's happening within the market. So yesterday we did see a bounce in Bitcoin's price, which of course impacted the altcoins. We were having a green day, but once again, we're finding ourselves below that $26,000 mark. And once again, Again, the entire market is slowly turning back into that red zone so what really is next we will discuss that but as always just a quick disclaimer that anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto so looking at mill ladies price as of september the 8th you can see it's currently sitting at 37265 down about 3% over the last 24 hours in USD, Bitcoin, and Ethereum comparative over the last 24 hours. Looking at its market cap, $33 million and the 24-hour trading volume currently sitting at $1.8 million. So what is next? You know, that is something I'm sure a lot of people are wondering and we're going to be discussing that. If we're looking at the holder count for ladies, once again, even though the price is retracing a little bit, something we were talking about that you know i was uh you know hoping that we are going to continue seeing the holder count increasing and that's exactly what's happening you can see the holder count is still increasing and we could be ranging to that sixteen thousand shortly in my opinion if we're looking at their twitter though as far as announcements goes, as I've said to you guys before, there's not any sort of announcements to be specific. Uh, but if we're looking at the price right now, there is some interesting things that are happening as of now. And what are these interesting things that I'm referring to? I am talking about a little bit of a retracement. So looking at its market cap, $33 million, as I've already said. But now let's take a look at, you know, the bigger picture as to where we're currently sitting at for the price of ladies so you guys can see ladies really had a beautiful bounce especially after breaking out of this level of resistance you know we went all the way up to that 4284 zone never really managed to retest that level of resistance at that 4502 mark you know which you guys know i've discussed on my channel um but you know we were pretty close to that level but we're seeing a little bit of a retracement since then if i bring out the measuring tool for you guys you can see the price has retraced traced about 13 percent uh from the september 6th highs but remember btc right now is seeing a little bit of a retest yesterday we did see a little bit of a fake out once again you can see bitcoin did bounce back up to twenty six thousand four hundred dollar mark but you can clearly see we never really managed to break past that range and once again as we start uh friday uh, we are finding ourselves back at these levels, which obviously is impacting the entire market. But usually, you know, we tend to see whenever ladies is seeing a breakout, you know, we tend to see uh, ladies that outperform. Uh, you know Bitcoin usually Bitcoin isn't really a worry but we are seeing a little bit of a correlation happening one thing a lot of people tend to forget uh, is that you know if you picked up some uh, ladies from the lows of August 17th, you are up right now, even after a retracement, about 80%. So let's not forget that this project is up 80% over the past two weeks. And remember, ladies is known uh, as a small cap coin, only $33 million market valuation. And guess what? Things can get manipulated quite easily. We can have a two whales come out and really manipulate the price of ladies and this is why it's crucial to be locking those gains in when you see them i get thousands of comments on my channel and you know whenever i say lock profits in some people really get upset and you know it's crazy to me why people are getting upset at that fact because you know why wouldn't you want to be locking some profits in, looking at some different opportunity and not only that you know when the prices do retrace you can be picking it up right now the market uncertainty is still quite high people think we're in a bull market you know things are looking insane 
Absolutely not right now. Uh, for Bitcoin, yes, we already have seen, uh, you know, the start of the bull market. You know, if someone's going to come and tell me that, you know, we haven't seen a bull market for Bitcoin uh, start, you know, I can argue all day long. We've seen Bitcoin break out. We saw Bitcoin hit a new yearly high. $31,850 was the yearly high. And if we don't call that a bull market, I don't know what you call a bull market. Obviously, it's not that parabolic uh, cycle that a lot of people are hoping for, but that happens usually after the Bitcoin happening does uh, take place but altcoins are still are lagging behind them so you know you want to be locking those profits and and um you know either buying other projects or you know waiting for a cheaper entry but at the end of the day it comes down to everyone what they really want to do but what we're seeing happening with ladies right now you guys i want you guys to pay very close attention to this you know we're being supported at some very critical price levels of support you can see this for yourself we're being supported by there if this support were not to hold you know we could be retesting back down to this 3265 zone and in order for us to retest that 3265 zone you know that is a move of about another 12 percent obviously no no one wants to hear that no one wants to see that happening but i have to tell you that you know that could be uh, the next target if we do not hold around these support lines but overall you know the momentum is still quite strong one thing that we should be focusing on is the buying pressure we haven't really seen that buying pressure uh, breaking out you know the buying pressure is still quite low uh, for ladies so that would be something that we would like to see increase a little bit but overall ladies is holding really really well and one thing I want you guys to pay attention to is remember when we did uh, break below back in June you can see we saw this massive almost two and a half to three X uh, move you can see this for yourself 250 percent move towards the upside and you can see we saw the price go all the way up to the 59 58 zone retraced all the way back down to 32.77 and boom back again towards the upside and it goes back to what i said from the beginning it's really easy to manipulate a small capped coin but as far as memes are concerned you know ladies is looking quite well as far as performance is concerned um you know things are looking quite better compared to pepe and the other guys that launch around this zone so you know definitely a plus point that we need to be uh you know paying attention to but remember the target remains the same you know, the target is that 44.98 zone once we break out of there uh, then obviously the main target is for us to retest that 59.67 zone which we did retest back on june but saw a rejection so that is what's um looking like for ladies right now this is the overall um you know outlook that i have on the project but if anything were to change of course i will keep you guys updated but let me know down below what you guys think do you guys agree with me that uh, there will be you know, you know a chance for us to retest that uh, 45 zone and I should break out of there or do you think we are about to retest that 32 zone once again let me know in the comment section and if you have not subscribed already guys what are you waiting for hit that red subscribe and come join the crypto zx army and also follow me on twitter link in the description box below and with that being said I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you guys tomorrow it's been crypto zx and peace out